All I can say is if you left SV Ballard Stadium at halftime last night, you left way too early. What looked like a University of Buffalo blowout turned into a finish to remember in Norfolk. Let's go back to SV Ballard. The Monarchs onto the field wearing the Hudson Blue uniforms in honor of Carol Hudson, ODU's longtime sports information director. ODU 1 and 2 after a loss last week at Liberty. 13 point underdogs to the visiting Buffalo Bulls, and head coach Ricky Ronnie could not have drawn up a worse opening half if he tried. Monarchs lining up with a field goal and a three point lead in the first quarter. CJ Basil takes it 86 yards the other way, 7 to nothing, Buffalo, and it got worse. Second quarter, it's 21 to 7, Buffalo, and Elijah Davis, normally sure handed, loses the ball. Picked up by Tim Terry, and he's got nothing in front of him. All the way back for a Buffalo touchdown. ODU trailed 35 to 7 at the half. A number of fans found the exits before the start of the third quarter. Second half, Buffalo never scored again. The Monarchs' defense played lights out, and DJ Mack, the transfer quarterback out of Norview High School in Norfolk, gave his hometown a Superman effort. Scampers in for the touchdown in the third quarter, had two in the third quarter, nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It's a 14 point Buffalo lead. Handoff to John Luke Peeker, seven yards to the end zone, and look at this it's a one score game. Now we go to 26 seconds to play. It's fourth and 11 for Old Dominion. Down a touchdown. Got to have it. Mack to the end zone. And Zach Koontz, the Penn State transfer, goes high and hauls it in. Touchdown, Old Dominion. Extra point away from tying it. But what you didn't see, flag on the field, excessive celebration. So the senior, Nick Wright, has to attempt the try from 15 yards further back. And Wright is wide right for the tie. An absolute gut punch. ODU rallies from 28 points down, but falls one point short. 35 to 34, the final. We have a bunch of tough kids on this team who fought to the very bitter end, um, and I knew they would. I told them in the locker room that that was, wasn't even up for debate in my mind. Um, what I wanted to see is I wanted to see us execute. And that's what we did. First half, you know, we kind of, kind of just kind of shot ourselves in the foot with whether it was penalties or, you know, just misexecution. We got in at the locker room. We just made sure that we calmed everybody down. You know, got together as brothers, and you know, we we know we can do a lot. We're gonna keep fighting. Don't no moral victories. Can't can't make some of the mistakes we make and expect to win, beat a good football team. But we uh, we've got to, you know. Continue to uh, improve, but we certainly had some execution tonight. Really tough pill to swallow for Old Dominion. Now one and three, the Monarchs begin conference play next week at Texas El Paso.